Hey, everyone. I'm here near Gainesville, Florida, in a watermelon farm field with Dr. Tatiana Sanchez from University of Florida Extension. And we are going to do a little test of the plant today. Tell us what we're up to, Tatiana. Okay, so we collected uh, petioles from watermelon plants, and we're going to check the nitrate, nitrogen, and the potassium level inside the plants. And basically, with this, we want to tune up our nutrients so we don't get, give too much or too little to the crop. So after you collect just like the leaf stems, you cut them to take a soup sample of um, what you just collected. And I have these two little probes here, uh, one for potassium and one for nitrogen. And what I do is I, with a very sophisticated garlic press, <laughs> I, I'm going to squeeze out the sap from the watermelon plants. And then I'm gonna read the levels. Oh, that is so cool. Let's see. Squeeze it out. Watermelon sap. Who knew? And then after this. Moment of truth. So the green one is, you said potassium? No, the green one is nitrogen. Okay. The pink one is potassium. Okay. That is um, so interesting. So... We have different calibrated n numbers for the different stages of the crop throughout the season. And based on that, we say, okay, we're a little low, we're a little high. Um, for what I'm reading right here, uh, the nitrogen is still calculating. We are very good in potassium. That's good. Yay. Uh, and our nitrogen is still reading. So once that's done, I'll know we're good. We need to step it up or where we are. Cool. Yeah. So do you do this with a lot of different plants besides watermelon? Um, Yes, you can do this with multiple vegetables and even some herbs. And you can check it out. We have in our EDs website, we have a vegetable, a sap petiole, uh, sap testing publication in which you can find all the different numbers for a number of vegetable crops that are calibrated to Florida. And you can use these tools to tune up your nutrient management. Just reach out to your extension agent. Um, if they have these gadgets, they will do this for you. And that way you can get your veggies growing well. Nice. So how are we doing on this or how long does this usually take to do? Um, just the happy face. So now I have my happy face uh, and my nitrogen. Happy face. <laughs> that, um, is ready. So my nitrate nitrogen level is at 980 parts per million, whereas my potassium is at 4,700 parts per million. For this stage in the crop where we're already setting fruit, um, we are really close to the lower end of our nitrogen, whereas our potassium is right within range. Okay. Yeah. It's a little cloudy today, so that means that the plants are not transpiring as fast. Uh, so I would say for this particular scenario, we are right where we need to be. Excellent. Yes. And it's my understanding you are out here doing research with different types of fertilizer and trying to do something that's maybe a little more slow release, like basically just trying to be better overall with the environment and all that. Right. So we're trying to establish um, how uh, formulation of slow release fertilizer would work for a quick crop like a watermelon. We typically give um, the nutrients to the crop, a uh, portion of them at the beginning of of during the planting pretty much and then we feed them through the drip tape to meet up all those nutrient uh, requirements throughout the season. Cool. And what we're testing here is okay if we, if we change a little bit the formulation on slow release so the the release is not as slow and can meet the nutrient requirements throughout the watermelon season which is a short season then that way we might be able to have a better hold on our nutrients since uh, we are in Florida and we have sandy soils and leaching rains, the slow release fertilizers will help us fight back the leaching of nutrients into the ground by providing those nutrients to the crop slowly, but when they need them. Excellent. So that's the research that we're doing, and stay tuned. We'll let you know how that goes. Um, and Excellent. Yeah, we'll about Great. It. Thank you so much. Let's go take a look here real quick and just see. Here's your drip tape irrigation. And... The watermelons here. We're learning all about watermelons today. Thank you so much, Dr. Sanchez. I'm happy to teach you. <laughs>